And now, your first Alert 5 weather. Check out this photo of our beautiful bighorn sheep outside of Glen Erie Castle. Thank you, Laura, for sharing your photo on our brand new Facebook group. There's QR code there if you want to join our new Facebook group where you can share your photos of colorful Colorado. It's called Discover Southern Colorado through your photos and your photo may be used on air. Uh, so today it was a beautiful spring like day. Our temperature high of 69 in the springs, 10 degrees above average today. 74 in Pueblo, uh, almost 10 degrees above average. So we're seeing a nice warm stretch of weather and it's going to continue for a couple more days outside right now. It's just before 615 and we're in the 50s, 60s, 70s. Not so bad as you're heading out the door. Maybe take a walk this evening. Grab a jacket as soon as the sun sets though because those temperatures will fall. Eventually overnight we'll make it to the 30s. Low 30s in the mountains and mid 30s in the plains. And then we'll do it again tomorrow. A high of 72 in Colorado Springs, 77 in Pueblo. So we'll be about 10 to 15 degrees above average tomorrow. Lots of sunshine in store once again. So La Junta, you'll be the hot spot on Thursday to 80 degrees. 79 in Lamar, uh, mostly 70s, some 60s up and down I-25, 60s into our mountain valleys. Then we'll see another warm day on Friday, beautiful springtime weather, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So tomorrow is likely to be our first 70 degree day of the year in Colorado Springs, and Friday is likely to be our first 80 degree day in Pueblo. And that's all fueled by high pressure, but that will eventually move out. Got some stronger jet stream winds approaching with our next area of low pressure and that will keep us cooler for the weekend. The snow is going to be favored towards northern Colorado. We might get a few stray showers from that system though. So winds are not too bad this evening, mostly less than 20 miles per hour and tomorrow we're going to be warm and just a little breezy. Gusts will be 15 to 20 miles per hour. But as that jet stream starts to move in with that low pressure system, we'll have some stronger winds. So gusty on Friday, 30, 40 mile per hour and again, 30, 40 mile per hour gusts on Saturday as that storm moves through. And with wind comes fire danger this time of year. We have red flag warnings in place for Friday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Saturday afternoon, we have a fire weather watch. Saturday, I think the limiting factor will be moisture because that Saturday storm will bring in a slight chance of some precipitation. Looks like a better storm will move in for us on Tuesday. So looking ahead, 70s for a couple more days. Enjoy it. Then we're going to drop to the 50s from Saturday onward. We're going to go into a period of more unsettled weather. Slight chance of showers Saturday better chance on Tuesday. And we will have some clouds for the solar eclipse on Monday. We will not see a total eclipse. It will only be about 74% covered by the moon and eclipse peak time will be at 1240. In Pueblo, we're talking 77 tomorrow, then 80 on Friday. Then the cool down comes Saturday. 57 and windy. Then we toggle between the 50s and 60s through next week. A better chance of rain comes Tuesday. For Canyon City, 70s carry us through the rest of the week. Got 50s and low 60s from the weekend into next week. Best chances of seeing some moisture would be Saturday and Tuesday. And finally for Woodland Park, 60s enjoy it through Friday before our next winter blast moves in Saturday. We'll have some snow showers. Temperatures stay in the 40s through at least the middle of next week. Diane.